Hi guys, Hyperladded here, the Norwegian gamer, and welcome to my first episode of World Weapons in Real Life, where I talk about the real life counterparts to weapons I've been using in different games. In this first episode, I'm going to talk a little bit about the AKS 74U. Now, before I start off, I just have to apologize if I cough or anything, but I have a bit of a cold when recording, so you'll have to excuse any coughs or sneezes um, that will uh, may occur Thank during you. the recording. <laughs> so, to start it all off, let's get the statistics out of the way. Now, the AKS 74U weighs 2.7 kilograms or 6 uh, pounds. The length of the gun is 735 millimeters or 28.9 inches with the stock extended. With the stock folded, it's 490 millimeters or 19.3 inches. Whoa. The barrel length of the gun is 210 millimeters or 8.3 inches, which is almost half of what the other AK-74 has. The gun uses a 5.45 by 39 millimeter cartridge and is a gas-operated rotating bolt <laughs> action rifle. The 74U fires at a rate of about 600 to 700 rounds per minute, and the muzzle velocity is. Uh, about 735 millimeter, um, millimeters, yeah, meters per second. The effective range of the weapon is 350 to 500 meters, and it uses and it uses a 30 round magazine or an optional 45 round RPK 74 detachable box magazine. Uh, the RPK 74 magazine you can actually look at that in the um, Bad Company 2 Vietnam expansion uh, the RPK <coughs> RPK LMG the, the med medics carry actually use that kind of magazine and it can also be used on the um, AK AKS-74U now into the history of the AKS-74U the gun is a modified version of the AK-74, which is a refined version of the AKM, which, is a, which again is a refined version of the beloved AK-47. Now, the Russians, they weren't so big on inventive names, so when Mikhail Kalashnikov made the AK-47, they simply named it Avtomat Kalashnikov, which translates to Automatic Rifle Kalashnikov, and put this 47 on the end for the year of the introduction in mass production, which was 1947. Under a decade later, Kalashnikov improved on his original design and made the AKM, Avdomat Kalashnikov Modernizhvani. Now that's me speaking Russian and butchering it. So, or simply, Automatic Rifle Kalashnikov Modernized. In the 70s, more specifically 1974, a new version of the AKM was put into production, the AK-74. Now the AK-74 was made to use the new 5.45mm ammunition, in contrast with a higher caliber 5.76mm ammunition that the original AK-47 and AKM, AKM used. The version we see in Bad Company 2 is the AKS-74U, which is, as previously stated, a modified version of the AK-74. The full name of the gun is actually Avtomat Kalashnikov Skladnoy 74 Ukoroshenyi, which means Automatic Rifle Kalashnikov Folding 74 Shortened. So, as you might guess, the version with the U at the end is a shortened version of the 74 to make it more mobile and easier to use in close quarter combat. The 74U becomes the counterpart to the American M4 carbine, which was made for the same purpose, which is mostly uh, downtown firefights where you don't have those li li long yeah. lines of sight, but you need something that's kind of an SMG but still has the power of an assault rifle. And that's kind of where the carbines come in, uh, come into play. 
The S in the end of the AKS-74 or 74U stands for folding, which means that the buttstock, the part that you put against your uh, shoulder when firing, of the rifle is able to be folded to the side of the gun, making it more compact for storage and transport. This feature later made it into the new versions of the rifle without having to put S in the name, so the later versions of the AK-74 had the folding buttstock, but they didn't put the S in the, uh, the name because it was a, st a standard feature of the weapon. In the years following the introduction of the AK-74, several versions was made of the gun, including the AKS and U versions, which we've already covered, and there's the AK-74N, the so-called night version, which includes a, a night or a infrared scope rail on the left side of the receiver. Uh, this makes it able to actually use the, uh, the gun at night time. And later on, the AK-74M, which is the most recent version of the AK-74, and started mass production in 1991. The modernized version features plastic furniture instead of the classical wood furniture, which we haven't seen in the game. The bedstead of the 74M is also in plastic and can be folded as a standard feature. The gun also comes with a scope railing, for, uh, which was first seen on the 74N, and now it's a standard feature. Now, the AK-74M is in wide use today and is the current iteration of the AK family. The 74 is not only used in Russia, but also in a lot of the former or previous USSR states, and also in some countries in Africa and Asia. And, well, as it turns out, in Asia it's mostly the communist states that use it, especially North Korea came up a lot of times. I can also mention that the AK-74 is also the base model for the AK-100 series, which includes the AK-101 and 102, which is also... Um, uh, rifles that uses the NATO standard 5.56, which uses the 5.56 uh, millimeter ammunition, and the 102, 103, and I believe the 104, which uses the 7.56 am ammunition. Uh, I mean, 5.7, yeah, 5.76 ammunition, um, which is a bit larger but has a, uh, deals a lot more damage. So that's it for the AK-74 uh, gun, or rather the AKS-74U, which is which you see in the um, in the game. I hope this was interesting, and I hope that you'll see my next world video. Until next time, snackies.